the church commissioners have over 10 billion pounds in their coffers but offer only 100 million pounds in ill-defined nebulous projects as restitution for the devastation that the transatlantic slavery caused to Yoruba land. This offer is derisory. It insults. We Yoruba people of southwestern Nigeria wholeheartedly reject it. The commissioners have acknowledged that the Church of England were principal sponsors of the transatlantic slavery. First, the church invested a lot of money in the transatlantic slavery. The money came from the Queen Anne Bounty, a church charity, founded in 1704 with direct contributions from the clergy. The bounty also received money, about a fifth of its income, from individuals such as Edward Colston, who were linked to or who profited from the transatlantic slavery and the plantation economy. By 1777, the bounty had invested the equivalent of £720 million into this money in the South Sea Company, a company with the monopoly of transporting slaves from Africa to the Americas. Income earned from this investment was worth over £400 million into this money. In 1948, the bounty funds became subsumed in the Church Commissioner's Endowment Fund, which perpetuated the slavery legacy. Second, church and clergy owned slaves. Under the Slavery Abolition Act of 1833, at least 100 clergy received compensation worth £46 million in today's money. Wealthy slave owners left slaves to the church when they died. For example, Christopher Codrington, a Barbados plantation owner, left 750 slaves to the church. The Society for the Pro Propagation of the Gospel, the missionary arm of the Church of England, inherited slaves who they even branded with the word society on their chests with hot iron. Third, the church invested biblical authority in the transatlantic slavery. The Church of England made the transatlantic slavery acceptable, justifiable, and palatable to their people and to the peoples of Europe in general. Racist explanations were used to justify participation in slavery. The church lied that Africans were Negroes with racial inferiority because they descended from Ham the son that Noah caused, whereas the Semites and Europeans were ra racially superior because they descended from Noah's other sons. Money from the slavery was used to build churches in England. James Scott, for example, paid for the construction of Holy Trinity in Barnstable from payouts for his father's plantations in Jamaica. The cost of the loss of millions of enslaved Yoruba people to the advancement and development of Yoruba land is incalculable. Targeted restorative action by the church is a necessity, but it must be in the region of one billion pounds to bring Yoruba land up to speed. For example, Yoruba land has one of the longest coastlines with deep sea on the continent of Africa. The church could fund the exploitation of this natural resource, which will create tens of thousands of local jobs and prosperity and renewable, renewable energy too. Thank you.